Hi everyone, Gregicator here. I just wanted to take a moment to share something with you that I discovered while I was narrating part of a lecture that Frederick Douglass gave here in Rochester, New York on July 5th, 1852. In that lecture, he has the audience imagine a group of enslaved people, a hypothetical group that is being driven or forced to walk from the Potomac down to New Orleans to be sold in the slave market. In this hypothetical group, he describes a 13-year-old girl who is crying, who's weeping, because she has just been separated from her mother forever. And I had a thought, and I looked up how old Frederick Douglass's daughter was at the time that he gave this lecture. She had just turned 13. So likely when he was writing this lecture, he was picturing his own daughter, who in another life may have been that child separated from her family, but luckily she had been born free because he had escaped from slavery.